Hi, in this session we will discuss about oracle hints. In this session we will discuss what is optimizer hint, when and why it is needed, different category of hints, description of mostly used hints and I will demonstrate how query plan can change with the influence of hint. Okay. So what is a hint? A hint is an instruction to the optimizer which can influence the optimizer to choose a different plan for a SQL statement. Okay. So why we will use hints? Hints lets you make decision usually made by the Oracle optimizer. Suppose table statistics, index statistics or histograms are not gathered properly. Then the optimizer will not have the all relevant statistics related to query execution then it might choose a plan which is not optimal in cases like this hints can be used to influence the optimizer to get a better plan in a test or dev environment hints are useful for testing performance of a specific access path suppose you want to check like if index scan is taking more time or if a full table scan is taking more time then you can use hints uh, to influence the optimizer to do a index scan or a full table scan whatever you want okay but keep that in mind that hints should must be used only as the last resort cause if statistics are gathered properly then uh, there will be no requirement to use hints actually cause oracle optimizer is too smart if the optimizer have the all proper statistics then it will must use the suboptimal execution plan in very rare cases if statistics are gathered properly and query still following the suboptimal execution plan then you might choose a hint but before that before choosing a hint you should analyze why it's not uh, giving the better plan okay why I mean why the optimizer is not giving a uh, optimal execution plan this should not be a case hint category oracle hints can be grouped in following categories hint for optimization approaches and goals hints for enabling optimizer features hints for access paths hints for join operations hints for join orders, hints for parallel execution, hints for query transformations, hints for online application upgrade and additional hints. Okay. Here uh, now I will go for I uh, here in this session I will describe most of the used hints or uh, commonly used hints that we need okay uh, like uh, now we'll discuss about some hints for optimization approaches and goals all rows this is this hint is used to get the cost based ap approach for the best throughput okay this is for the best throughput and the first rows for the best response time okay and in 11g the all rows is default okay now uh, i will uh, go through some examples okay here uh, my auto trace is on but i will just show you how to turn it on i will use auto trace to get the explain uh, the query plans using this command it will uh, give me only the query plans it will not give me the statistics okay uh, now as as of now i just want to view the query plans okay so first all rows this is the uh, syntax for all rows select you have to give the for every hints this is the basic syntax slash then star then plus then a space then the hint 
then space and then start then again slash this is for all rows if you want best throughput then go for this hint if you want best response time then go for this hint okay and there is also choose and rule choose suppose uh, there is a table and for that table statistics are not available right now in this case if you use the choose hint then the then it will use the if the statistics are not available it will use the rule based optimizer if the statistics are available then it will use the cost based optimizer okay let's check do a test I'll create a table suppose EMP3 create table EMP3 okay I have created the table I have not gathered any statistics let's use the choose hint here I have used this choose hint and you can see now it's using a rule based optimizer you can see that there is no detail of cost bytes rows and like that so it's using a rule based optimizer okay now if you uh, gather the statistics let's see what happens I will use the old method analyze table compute statistics table analyzed now again I will re-execute this uh, statement use with the choose hint here you can see now statistics is gathered now it's using the cost based optimizer you can see all these infos are here rows bytes cost okay and rule using rule hint you can use the rule based optimizer and uh, rule based optimizer is deprecated long back so we don't use it anymore okay oracle also does not recommend it to use the rule based optimizer if you use rule hint then it will suppose for example if you use this then uh, Oracle is, will use the rule based optimizer okay you can see it's using a rule based optimizer here fine now hints for access paths this there uh, these hints are for access paths cluster this tells the Oracle to do a cluster scan to access the table this is a cluster hint full this tells the optimizer to do a full scan for the specified table hash this tells oracles explicitly to choose the hash access method for the table row id it forces a row id scan for the specific table okay let's uh, do some test there is uh, okay see this query i am fetching from hr.empl table in EMPL table I have uh, around 2,30,000 uh, 2, records okay and I am using this query from hr.empl her employee ID less than 300 so it should use the index as in employee ID column I have index let's see yeah as uh, assumed as per our assumption it's using a index range scan fine now use this query this is the uh, full hint in case you have to use this in case of full hint you have to use this syntax full then bracket you have to give the table name or the alias name okay let's see what happens now here you can see it's not using the index anymore it's doing a full table scan the hint have uh, influenced the optimizer to do a full table scan now fine like that also there is a hash hint 
I I was just describing it tells Oracle to explicitly choose the hash access method and also row ID forced the row ID scan for the specific table okay and now index hint index hint basically forces the index scan of the specified table using the specified indexes if a list of index is specified the optimizer chooses the one with the lowest cost if no index is specified then the optimizer chooses the available index for the table with the lowest cost lowest cost okay this is the syntax for index hint you have to give index then within brackets you have to give the table name or table alias name then you have to give the index name okay this is uh, this will force the optimizer uh, to do a index scan here you can see it's doing a index range scan of this index okay and there is also other things like index underscore ASC it's say similar as index but when it when the <coughs> query performs index range scan then it will uh, the Oracle will search the values scan the values in the index in ascending order okay it is same as index it does a index range scan if it does a index range scan then Oracle will do a ascending search and in case of index underscore DSC it will do a descending search otherwise same as index okay index combine in case of bitmapped indexes on the table uh, you can use it index combine this is basically for bitmap indexes fine suppose here in hr.empl table I have two bitmap indexes this and this in these two columns MP status flag and job ID now and I am using index combine okay yeah it's uh, using both both of the bitmap indexes here okay using this index combine now index join the index join hint instructs the optimizer to use index join as an access path okay let's see example index join here my table is employees e I have uh, like uh, my condition is like where employee ID less than 145 department ID less than 60 I have two indexes here uh, suppose uh, okay I have to give my index name here let's see what is my index EMP MPID PK this is my default index it is created with the uh, primary key okay now we'll check yeah here you can see uh, for this query I am using index join the uh, syntax is like you have to give the table name or table alias here here it is E then I am giving the two index names EMP MP ID PK EMP department ID IX here is the two indexes and you can see here it's doing index join to retrieve the data okay next index underscore SS 
it means it instructs the optimizer to perform a index skip scan for the specified table okay and index FFS this 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 hint instructs the optimizer to perform a fast full scan okay so I will uh, for index underscore SS let's this is the example select you have to give this select uh, then the hint like this is the hint index underscore SS in brackets first the table name or table alias then the index name okay it will do a index skip scan yeah here you can see the optimizer is generated uh, have generated a plan and it's uh, using the index skip scan okay now index first full scan okay here it will do a indexed first full scan index underscore FFS this is the hint you have to give the table name E EMP name IX is the index name okay okay this is doing a first full scan this EMP name IX index is created on first name and last name it's a composite uh, index okay and so you can see it was doing a index first full scan and this index was created on both of these columns composite index okay now go to next slide hints for join operations use hash this use hash hint forces the optimizer to join each specified table with another row source using the hash join it uh, simply it tells the optimizer to use the hash join and use merge it tells the optimizer to use sort merge join and use nl this hint instructs the optimizer using to use the nested loop join it says to join each specified table to another row source with a nested loop joins using the specified table as the inner table fine okay let's do some demo use hash like here I have this EM, e, e, employees table is a small table 100 rows are there 100 or 200 okay let's see what is the plan here I'm not using any hints right now okay you can see if we don't use any hints it's doing a march join short march join fine now we'll use use hash the syntax of use hash is like this you have to give use hash within brackets to table name or table name aliases for me here employees e departments d i have put like use underscore hash within brackets e space d okay here here you can see after using this hint it's not using sort mark join anymore it is using hash join okay next example for the use merge and here uh, previously we were showing from the employees table now there is another table EMPL it is a bigger table it have around 245,000 records now let's see uh, what happens if we just execute this okay this is uh, doing a has join for this EMPL table joining this EMPL and department table now we will use the hint use merge will influence the optimizer
you can see it's no no longer using the has join okay it's doing a short merge fine now another example for use nl yeah uh, here we will again use the empl table and departments table uh, and uh, first we will check without using this uh, it was uh, doing a has join without using any hint it's doing has join fine now if we use that hint what it will do I am using use underscore nl and you have within brackets you have to give e and um, the table names or the alias names here it is e and d for me okay here you can see it's doing a nested loop it's using nested loop to join these two tables okay departments and EMPL fine previously it was doing a has join fine okay let's go to next slide use NL with index it is same as uh, kind of use NL additionally it is the it will use the index specified in the hint okay use nl with index this is the syntax use nl with index you have to give the table name you have to give the table name then the index name here you can see it's uh, additional like it is doing nested loop as well as it is doing index range scan for this EMPL department index okay and what I was saying regarding this this hint instructs the optimizer to join the specific table with another row source with a nested loops join using the specified table as inner table and will use index specified okay and there is also three options no use nl three hints no use nl no use has no use merge no use nl means it instructs the optimizer to not use the nested loop joints okay no use has that means it instructs the optimizer not to use has join no use merge that means it instructs the optimizer not to use short merge join okay i'll just give a example of <coughs> use no hash here you can see uh, the no, uh, query without any hint it's uh, doing a hash join now I will use use no use hash same like use hash you have to pass uh, you have to give E and D here the department uh, the table aliases for me for employee E departments D now I will execute that let's see what happens after using this hint here you can see it's not using uh, has join anymore it is using merge join short merge join okay so use purpose of this are to no use nl it it will not use nested loop no use has it will not use has join no use merge it will not use short merge join it instructs the optimizer okay hint for joining orders leading and ordered the hint causes oracle to use specific specified tables as the first table in the join order okay and uh, ordered is also similar but uh, leading is bit versatile than leading when uh, versatile than order when you put the ordered hint in the SQL statement requiring a join the optimizer chooses the order in which to join the tables I will just give you example of leading here uh, you can see select this is the syntax leading e j ok so 
it uh, basically affects the joining order okay first without hint I will execute the statement same statement okay you can see uh, here this is the joining order uh, I mean this is the joining order first it is doing employees table access full then it's going to departments then at finally job history okay now using this hint see the difference the orders have changed you can see first employees in joining order then job history then departments previously it was job history departments then employees okay so let's go to next slide now we'll uh, discuss about parallel execution uh, before starting with parallel execution like parallel execution in most of the cases must be avoided it is the rarest cases in a rarest cases as last resort we can use parallel execution as while parallel execution like it, it it is very useful for big queries okay and but it also like eats up some of the CPU processes like if you give for uh, like very large value like uh, suppose four uh, CPUs then uh, like it may suck up the uh, other processes maybe may become slower it will wait okay so basically uh, in hints in case of hint for parallel execution we have this hints first parallel the statement will always run in parallel and the database computes the degree of parallelism which can be two or greater okay parallel auto the database computes the degree of parallelism which can be one or greater if the computed degree of parallelism is one then the statement runs serially okay parallel manual the optimizer is forced to use the parallel setting of the object in the statement like if what is the degree of parallelism for a table um, depends on that it will run the operation okay and parallel integer you can pass the degree of parallelism by a specified by integer okay so this is the syntax for parallel auto and this is for the first one the parallel only okay you can see I'm doing parallel here it is using parallel processing computed degree of parallelism is 2 okay now if we do that parallel auto let's see what happens okay automatic DOP computer degree of parallelism is 1 because of the parallel threshold okay it's not using the parallel ex uh, execution here as what is told here the database computes degree of parallelism which can be 1 or greater if the computed degree is 1 then the statement runs serially based on some factor basically it calculates okay let's try on manual okay here you can see it's using uh, serial plan serial execution it's not using parallel plan so uh, what is the reason cause the degree of parallelism in the EMPL table is specified as one so let's alter it we can uh, do a alteration like alter table HR dot EMPL parallel suppose 4 now we can run this parallel manual here you can see now it's using parallel processing okay 
because I have altered the degree of parallelism in the table level and in case of manual it uh, fetch, uh, first sees in the table what is the degree of parallelism and it tries to run in the uh, like uh, like if the degree is 4 then it will run as uh, parallel 4 okay and the last option uh, parallel uh, you have to provide the table name comma the integer value okay here you can see uh, like you are giving here parallel the table alias or table name then comma 3 that means the degree of parallelism is 3 okay and parallel index parallel index hint instructs the optimizer to use specific number of concurrent server to parallelize index range scan full scan fast full scan for indexes it is very much useful case in case of partition indexes because uh, in case of partition table the in uh, tables are also very big and the index partition indexes are also big in size so it is useful in case of that it will parallelize the scanning process PQ, di PQ distribute using this hint it can it can control the distribution of rows for parallel SQL statement to direct how rows should be distributed between the producer and the consumer and it can improve the parallel join operation performance while using the partition table like in big partition table like in DWH data warehouse environment this is bit useful and no parallel the no parallel hint overrides a parallel parameter in the DDL created or altered in the table and no parallel index is similar like no parallel in no parallel index hint overrides a parallel parameter in the DDL that created or altered the index thus avoiding a parallel index can operation so let's check what it says it says that if a table created or table or uh, index created or altered <coughs> as uh, parallel degree more than one then uh, like in this case if we alter this uh, we have already altered this now if you d do just select star from EMP I am not giving any hint or anything in this case it will always use parallel process uh, par use parallelism to f execute the query the plan will be a parallel plan but in this case if you use the no parallel hint it will use the serial plan okay this is the syntax select no parallel within brackets the table name or the table alias name okay here you can see it's using the serial plan here fine and similar uh, as the no parallel index same case only the difference the previous one was case of table and it is the case of index okay now other hints append append values no append this uh, comes under the other hints append is uh, like one of the mostly used hints in Oracle the append hint instruct the optimizer to use a direct path insert like uh, using append hint we can do a direct path insert uh, what direct path insert means in case of direct path insert if the uh, target table is in no logging mode okay the target table is created with suppose the target table is created with no logging mode and in this case if you are doing a append insert then very less amount of redo will be generated very less almost no redo will be generated and direct path in, in case of direct path insert it bypasses the buffer cache okay for because of this like for because of this append insert is bit faster than the conventional insert okay so for a faster insertion we can use this append hint okay 
we just we have to and in append hint we can uh, cannot use with the values keyword we can embed with this kind of s statement with kind of this kind of sub query okay like insert append into hr dot empl vkp select star from hr dot empl suppose this statement here uh, if we see in toad <coughs> okay at this moment it's showing load as select load as select means it will be a direct path insert and this uh, parallel <coughs> I mean this px coordinator this means parallel processing this is coming only because of I have uh, altered the parallel degree of the table like all the table hr dot mpl parallel 4 this is uh, like uh, the fetching is done in parallel way and then direct path insert into mp now i will just alter the degree to 1 the default value okay then you can see the plan is differing here i mean it will not do the uh, parallel processing anymore parallel one and now if you check it's uh, not doing any parallel processing but it's doing a direct path insert okay load as select this 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 and if you remove this append it will do a conventional insert okay this means load table conventional this means a conventional insert okay append values this append values instruct uh, hint instructs the optimizer to use the direct path insert with the values clause it is uh, new in 11g okay you can uh, use this append values with the values clause in clause in insert statement okay like it is very much useful in case of in case of like you are doing a for all insert like in this small PLSQL block I am fetching this data into a cursor EMP card using this cursor I am fetching into uh, this type fetch EMP card type then I am doing a bulk insert here I am using this append values uh, hint in this cases append values are append values hint is used okay and no append hint instructs the optimizer to use the conventional insert by disabling the parallel mode for the duration of the insert statement it is like uh, opposite of append and uh, conventional insert is the default in serial mode and direct path insert is the default in parallel mode okay in uh, like in parallel mode if you use no append then <coughs> the uh, like uh, what it says like no append hint instructs the optimizer to use optimize conventional insert by disabling the parallel mode in the duration of the insert statement it disables basically kind of opposite of append and cache cache hint instructs the optimizer to place the blocks retrieved from a table at the most recently used end of the LRU list in the buffer cache when a full table scan is performed like it is very much useful for uh, small lookup tables like you have a small table if you use this cache hint then it will oracle will uh, fetch all the blocks from the data file and it will keep in the in the memory in the most recently used end of the LRU and uh, as it will be in memory whenever you need to query that table the query will run much faster okay and the no cache hint it instructs the optimizer to place the block retrieves for the table at the least recently used end of the LRU in in the buffer cache when a full table scan is performed like this is the default mode okay and result cache the result cache concept was introduced in oracle 11g r1 the result cache hint instructs the database to cache the results of a current query in memory and then to use the cached result in future execution of query okay result cache is a area in our 
in the Oracle SGA okay and you uh, if the uh, there is a parameter result cache mode if it is uh, by default it is manual if it is manual then you can use this hint to cache your results into result cache like if you like oracle re, uh, result cache hint request oracle to check if a result for your query already exists in the result cache if so oracle will skip the fetch step of the execution and the get rows from directly from the cache instead of reading the rows from the database buffers like it is a uh, memory area like there is a parameter i will show yeah here you can see a parameter result cache mode it is manual by default okay when this is manual we can use this hint to use the feature of result cache okay and this result cache is a uh, particular memory area in the shared pool when if we using result cache hint if we execute the query the result set of query will be saved into the result cache area and if the next time we will execute the query we will retrieve the result directly from the result cache and it is very much fast to retrieve from result cache ok generally it is very much use uh, very much uh, useful for uh, big queries that are executed uh, many times uh, like concurrent uh, like many times one after another like like that scenarios like that like uh, if you execute this query suppose this query hours each and every uh, runs each and every hour in cases like this this result cache is very much useful okay here uh, I will show this result cache if you generate the explain plan you can see it's using this result cache okay so uh, this is uh, like the hints I wanted to cover there are a lot more other hints in Oracle but these are one of the most useful hints uh, hope you will like the video I tried to cover as much as I can so thank you Thanks for viewing it.